Welcome back to video number two. Now this is going to be a mishmash of stories. We have a Megan spotting. We have, there's a lot. Let's jump in and cover it, shall we? Let's go. I'm going to start off with the Tillman uh, petition. Several of my subscribers pointed out that their signatures were removed. Remember that the numbers were going up and going down and people think that they're screwing with it. But I find it interesting that several people uh, found that their comments and signatures were deleted. So there you go. Also, this subscriber of mine pointed out that 74% of the Pat Tillman charity goes to, you know, paying people's salaries. So maybe you shouldn't uh, give money to that. Next up, we're going to take a, just another quick look at Megan's ring. Everybody's saying that it's still the same stone from when she was married. Now, we know she changed the band and she added diamonds and she did this and that to it. But here's what the stone looked like when she got married. That's the close-up from the picture that you just saw. Now, here is a close-up. On the left is what her hand looked like in Nigeria. She has had that center stone changed from a cushion cut to a, a rectangle that is obviously a different stone, a much larger stone. No, that is not the pinky diamond because we've seen her wearing the pinky diamond since then. So apparently her ring wasn't all that in a bag of chips like Megan said. Moving on. Next up, I couldn't help but notice what Mystified on Twitter put down that how disingenuous this is that Harry, everybody's, you know, going with the thing that Harry was a pilot and, you know, he never flew. He took the Legends of Aviation Award, but he didn't pass the test. And here's a picture. And as you can clearly see, Harry doesn't have the wings and he doesn't have the wings because he wasn't a pilot. Let's move on to this other story. I kind of touched on this the other day. King Charles and Harry are in a stalemate. Let me explain. We all know that Harry has said repeatedly that if we're going to fix this feud, the royal family is going to have to apologize to my wife for the way they treated her, and we want an apology for this and an apology for that. Obviously, the royal family didn't do anything wrong. If you're looking for something wrong all the time, you're going to find it, and that's really what's going on here. So... Now it's coming out that Harry would like to sit down with the royal family. By the way, apparently Meghan would like to sit down too and they want to hash things out. Well, the royal family is saying no because they're not stupid. They're not going to sit down with them and know that any conversation that takes place is going to end up in a book, in a podcast, in an interview, and more than likely it won't even be true. And now it's coming out, as I've stated before, Megan wants King Charles to give his stamp of approval to American Riviera Orchard because it's not going well. And she hopes that by having the royal family support her, it'll go better. I mean, here is what they're saying online right now about the ARO products. Okay, listen to this. Rosé wine as part of her new luxury brand. Is it true or is it false? What are we saying that dog biscuits and jam aren't luxury? Is this, is this how far we've, we've fallen now? <laughs> nothing, nothing says luxury quite like a dog yeah, treat. <laughs> you know, the, the main one we always used to be a thing called Whispering Angel. This one's just moaning Megan, isn't it? <laughs> but well, no. I, mean, I mean, I think, actually, I can probably give you a clue on this question, can't I? Because she's launched every other case. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. At, at this point, I think she's running out of things to launch. <laughs> yeah. This is probably something that they should have talked about and discussed before they trash the royal family. So Harry, it's coming out in these articles, Harry is saying that he has absolutely no problem apologizing to the royal family because they have asked for an apology for all the things that Harry wrote in the spare. And Meghan is saying to Harry, you're not going to apologize to them. That's off the table. So they're at a stalemate. Megan realizes a little late that without the royal family, this is not going to work. And so her priority now is to try to fix things with them because it, it, she wants her brand to work. The problem is going to be that Charles is not going to be willing to forgive the things that Harry said about Camilla. Everybody knows that Megan never wanted to be second fiddle. I just don't know how this is going to be fixed. Personally, I don't think it can be fixed. Let me tell you that putting out puff pieces 
like this one, is certainly not helping her cause any. This is what they're saying. Queen Camilla gave Princess Charlotte a telling off during the funeral and a sharp two-word order to Princess Kate because, are you ready for this? It's being alleged that George pinched Charlotte and Charlotte cried out in pain and spun around to face him shouting, ow. And they're saying that Meghan Markle, who was in close proximity, seemed to lean in with a sympathetic smile towards Charlotte. And this caught the attention of their grandmother, Queen Camilla, who was unamused, who gestured towards Charlotte and quietly said to the Princess of Wales, take her. I think we all know that did not happen. And as long as Megan is putting out those kinds of puff pieces, there's not going to be a reconciliation. That is the dumbest story I've ever heard. I mean, some of these puff pieces, first of all, George and Charlotte are two of the most well-behaved children. I've never seen them step out of line. But who believes in the midst of their grief, George was seen crying at the funeral at multiple different spots. Charlotte was seen crying at multiple different spots. Who's going to believe that George pinched Charlotte and Charlotte said, ow, when Megan had to get involved? Who comes up with this crap? Because that's what it is. Moving on to the Netflix stuff, Sky News host Rita, I think it's pronounced Panahi, she basically weighed in online, live on air, saying that the show was bloody awful. <laughs> she made absolutely no effort to disguise her feelings about the project. She talked about the upcoming cooking show, which they just you know finished filming. Uh, and even though there's no title or air date, it appears not everybody is liking it. Her comments were, I can't see the polo program working out. She said one thing that has worked was awful, and it was a reality series. It wasn't a documentary. To which Kinsey Schofield pointed out that the Harry and Meghan docuseries was just hours and hours of them ripping into the British royal family. They released Live to Lead, which was an absolute flop, The Heart of Invictus, no one tuned in, and it's very important that Harry or Meghan's show see some similar numbers to the docuseries or they're going to lose Netflix. Rita also said that the docuseries was like a poor man's keeping up with the Kardashian. I had to watch it, she said. I had to take one for the team, and I don't want to do it ever again. All right, next up, I do not believe this story. They're saying that Meghan Markle was spotted um, at a farmer's market in Montecito while filming her Netflix show, and that then she got into her car and drove off. They said that she was in this striped sweater. Okay, first of all, that doesn't look like her silhouette in the car. Gotta be honest. Let me zoom in a little bit more. That, is, that doesn't look to me like Meghan Markle at all. Sorry. Uh, number two, there didn't appear to be any bodyguards around her. She wouldn't go anywhere without her bodyguards. Number three, there's not even a clear shot of her. There's just the back of somebody in a white sweater with some stripes. And they're like, well, we, we all know she loves stripes. But look at that sweater compared to this sweater. It is not the same. They're saying, oh, it's the same sweater she wore. No, it's not. That is not the same sweater. But the sweater did look familiar in the original picture. And you know why? Because it's the sweater that Catherine has been seen wearing on multiple occasions, including when she announced that she had cancer. So sorry, guys. I don't believe this person that we never even get a clear shot of is Meghan Markle. It's just wanting to get some publicity, in my opinion. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and follow me over to video number three. Let's go. Let's go.